Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at updates made to Hive OS and how they can help you out identify cards that are overheating. So if before we get into it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and let's get into it. Alright, so this rig right here is a bunch of 3080s, 3090s, 3080Ti's, and underneath it, it lists out the memory. So all these cards are Micron GDDR6X memory on them. And what we can tell um, HiveOS to do is update it to the latest version so we can read the temperature on the memory junction. So right now, HiveOS only shows the memory or, or the core temperature on the card. It doesn't show the memory junction temperature just like AMD cards in HiveOS. So in order to be able to see that, you have to update the miner. And in this case, I already did this on this rig. And I'll switch over to a different rig so you guys could see how, how to do that. But basically, if you see this yellow or orange color over here, that means that you can update it if you need to. So there's two options here. Both, are, both of them lead to the same window. And to tell where you were before, this this is basically a date indicator. So it's 22 um, for the year 2022, uh, 01 for January, and 29 for the date. All right, so the update we want to get to is 220320. And the reason for this update was because of T-Rex Miner 25.9. There has been some updates to it to allow your miner to view the temperature on certain memory types. So those specific ones are the GDR6X memory type. Those are normally used in um, the 30 series cards. You can see here, I don't have any 30 series cards. Well, actually I do, 3070. Uh, but those don't use GDDR6X. They use uh, the non-X version. So that won't work on these cards. But I already did this update on here. The Red Llama, uh, Llama Llama Red Pajama uh, basically has this update already in it. And it has the memory temperature or the memory that we want to monitor. So in order to get into there, the only thing you need to do is click on Remote Access and Hive Start Shell. Once you click click here it'll come up with a little icon and once that icon shows up we'll be able to move on from there but basically uh, we can see only the core temperature and I'm pretty sure or pretty confident that this 3090 is thermally throttling because you can see the hash rate dropping down to 90 and then another 3090 over here uh, which I did repad is at 121 0.7 mega hash on E. So it's a pretty clear indicator. It is thermally throttling, but we're going to go over here to HiveOS Miner and see uh, what the temperature is there. So the way you would read this is it says GPU, the slot number, the GPU type, the hash rate, and then over here T for temperature. So the first value here is core, the second value here is memory junction temperature. So we could see here, everything is below 110, except for this last card, card six, that's already at 110. If we scroll back here, six is, it's thermally throttling. It's, it's got a little hash rate. Now you could see here, this 3090 here is not hashing. And the reason is because I changed the flight sheet so it wouldn't hash because I knew that card was thermally throttling beyond anything so I just took it out and the way you, you can do this is just click here and it'll give you act, like examples that you can use so this example shows card 4, 5, and 6 are the only ones that are going to be able to mine I already did that but I added a few more cards I wanted to include and that was pretty much it so that's how I was able to omit this card that was only throttling and I wanted to keep this rig going without taking a the part out right now so let me know in the comment section below if this helped you out hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video